So here we're going to go ahead and log in. Now I've already signed in. So typically you wouldn't see my name there. You would just hit sign in right here. So we've already signed in. And now we're going to go to leader and clerk resources. So we're just going to click there. And then that's going to take us over to this message, this area here. Now, dependent of, again of on your logon credentials, what you're calling is you're going to have access to different tools within this resource. But almost everybody, to my knowledge, has access to send a message. So here we're just going to go to applications and send a message. Now, when send a message comes up, here we can select anybody we want. Now we may see our ward here, we may see the stake. Again, depending upon your calling, you're gonna see something a little different. And here we have stake calling. So this would be everybody that you could email at the stake level, ward level, and then the membership themselves. So here, let's just say stake level, and I wanna do all of the high council and the stake presidency. So I'm gonna select there, notice select all, and then select and it's going to automatically put those in. Pretty magical, huh? I could then go and say, okay, I want to also do all bishoprics or maybe all organization presidencies, or maybe I want to do all members. You could see all the different varieties, but right now I'm just going to stick with this. Here, I can just type in my subject of whatever that meeting is going to be or that message is about. And here, I can just type in the information about the message, right? Whatever I'm going to send. So let's just say the website is located or maybe here, select for the website. So here we want to select for the website. Now, sometimes we may type in the actual website. So let's just say that we want to go direct somebody here. So let's just say LDS.org. Now, normally in some mail browsers you would just hit there and it would automatically highlight as a url that does not happen within this application so here we're going to hold down our left mouse button and and highlight that or we could do that also by hit holding down the shift key and using our left arrow key on our keyboard but in either case we're going to highlight this and we're just going to go right click and say copy now we're going to highlight again i'm going to use my keyboard this time right got it now i'm going to go up here to insert link and i'm going to say url that's the link the web address and for safe measure it's always best to check that out so i've just pasted that into my browser and yep looks like it's working so we're good to go there now i can hit okay now notice that it's underlined that means that when the recipient receives this message they'll be able to just click on that and go to that web address so that's pretty neat but let's say that we want to change it. So we can click anywhere within it, click on the paperclip, and do you see here text to display? Let's just say we want to call that website. Okay, we could just hit okay. And now it'll just appear as that in underscore, so we could then just click. So whatever you want to use in this setting, you can certainly use. Then you just finish out your email. You can use bullet, uh, bold, do several things, different fonts. When you get done, you just simply click send message. Now, once you've sent the message, you're gonna receive a confirmation email message as well. Now, the confirmation email message looks something like this. It'll come here, message confirmation, it'll tell you what it is, and then it will list out your email of what you sent. And then it'll also send you an example of that email. So you can see here, this is what it's going to look like. It sent me an example, the state conference, and there we go. So that's pretty much how easy it is to send a message using the leader and clerk resources found within LDS tools.